one of the most stressful holidays is coming valentine's day that means number one you have to have a date number two you have to go on the date and hopefully things go well number three you have to bring a gift to your date if you don't have a date you don't have to worry about any of this you can just watch the video and give it a thumbs up too if you do have a date though i'm going to show you some diy gifts that you can make for your date that are really cool and unique and also some hacks so that your valentine's day runs smoothly let's get started Starting off with one of my favorite DIY gifts. It's a personalized, I mean really personalized heart box. And what I mean is you wanna to go to the store and get a regular like large heart box. It needs to be about an inch and one eighth deep minimum. Then you want to go home and remove the insides. You can do what you want with the chocolates. You can eat them, throw them away, and then you want to refill the heart box with your date's favorite liquor and favorite candy or chocolates. And when you're done, you can even add a cute little alcohol-related poem in your card, and you have a fun, inexpensive, personalized gift that many people would be very thankful for. At least I would be. Now, speaking of Valentine's Day cards, if you're really bad at figuring out like what poem or what to even say in a card, next time you're going shopping for your card, grab some other cards that are around you, some funny ones, whatever, and you can actually take pictures of what's inside of those cards to give you an idea of what to write if you can't think of anything. You can either make it your own or you can just rip it off completely. I mean, it's not completely from your brain, but your date's not gonna notice and it's the thought that counts, right? Right? Now a cute and very personal gift that you can give is to get some iron-on transfer paper. I got a pack for like eight bucks. Then you want to go ahead and create a little custom message on your computer like I did. You can put whatever you want. I did a bunch of little flirty messages. And then you wanna make sure that you print it out backwards because when you iron it on, it will iron on in the opposite direction. Then you wanna get some white boxers or panties and then just follow the directions on your transfer paper. Usually you have to iron it for a few minutes just to make sure it's all secure and all the way on. And then just pull the sheet off slowly and it will transfer your message, giving you a sexy little personal gift for your date to wear for you. Hey, hey, hey. Now, a little tip. If you and your date are going out to dinner first, then hanging out after, you may want to avoid ordering foods that are really high in fiber just for the night because after a couple hours, it can make you really gassy and uncomfortable. Unless you don't care, then hey, more power to you. I support that. But I want you to have the best time possible. So maybe opt for something else on the menu. Now, if your date has a sweet tooth like I do, you can make some DIY Valentine's Day donuts. They could be pink, they could be the colors of their favorite football team, whatever you want. I went with traditional Valentine's Day colors. And I made cream cheese frosting because hello, it's amazing. And all you need is a stick of cream cheese, some powdered sugar, and heavy whipping cream to make the donuts dippable. And if you don't want to dip, you can also just scoop the frosting on top of it. And if you want to get really creative, then you can go ahead and add like swirls of food coloring and like give it the little marble effect. You can put his initials or her initials. You can add little candies. Just get creative, then let them sit in your fridge for like a couple hours to solidify and then give them to your date. Now, if you're chilling with your Valentine's Day date and you're not sure if your breath is fresh or not, a little trick that you can do when you have a second alone is to lick the back of your hand and let it dry. Then smell. If it doesn't smell fresh, you may want to pop in some gum. If it does, then by all means, carry on. Now here's a little flirty DIY, a Netflix and chill pack for you and your date. All you need is a cute little red envelope type box from the craft store. And then I made a Netflix and chill logo on my computer and then I printed it out. Afterwards, I just taped it on to the box with some gold glitter washi tape and I filled up the box with my date's favorite movie theater candy and some butter popcorn. Now the last step is just to include a Netflix gift card or an Amazon video gift card, whatever your date prefers. Put that inside and you have a perfect little movie night gift for you guys to chill to wink. And that's it. I hope that this video was somewhat helpful to you that do have Valentine's Day dates. Do you? Comment down below if you do or not. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. I love you so much. Bye.